This video has been made possible by EA Game Changers. Open eye through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, dripping lights, paint the skies, all because of you. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today. So today we are back at the channel with part two of the movie star mansion that I started building yesterday uh, with the uh, with the new get together, not to get together Mona, oh my gosh, <laughs> with the new get famous expansion pack. So as you guys know, it's a traditional setting, the exterior of the house and I knew I wanted wanted to really go over the top with the interior so we are definitely using all of the more you know bougie kind of a looking furnishing so we're gonna go for gold and leopard and um, you know tiger stripes and everything <laughs> that you could find that is so over the top we're using it for this build so yeah be prepared if you don't like this style there will be other videos with the more contemporary furnishing um, I am currently working on uh, one medium-sized modern uh, you know house with all the contemporary items in that so that will be coming tomorrow uh, but for today of course I have this very luxurious movie star mansion so so this movie star mansion is owned you know by a movie star it's actually a movie star couple so there are two of them who became famous they uh, met each other on set fell deeply in love and now they're living in this gorgeous huge huge mansion uh, with all their money of course combined so they have quite a few simoleons um, and they also started a family so they have a toddler they have a uh, girl uh, a little girl as well um, they have a teen girl and they have a teen boy um, there's also a butler uh, because there is a butler's room in this mansion and what makes this mansion really fun is there are multiple levels so we have uh, two upper levels so this level right here the ground floor and then a level above that the second floor where all of the bedrooms you know the normal stuff is but then when you go down into the basement level all the fun things are there so in the basement we have a home cinema a indoor gym with a tiny spa area um, and there is also a vault Am I saying that correctly? Yeah, I think it's called a vault, a vault or vault. <laughs> I'm not sure downstairs as well, but I did, you know, not only, I just, I didn't just place that, you know, that vault item where you can place your money in. No, I decided to build an entire room with, you know, all the valuable items that the, the couple might have collected throughout, throughout the years. I placed it there in, you know, a specific room uh, that you can only access with a code. But I also made another room um, in that area and that is a panic room <laughs> um, I was watching um, I, I don't know if you know that movie um, what is it called again um, not panic room I know there's a movie called panic room but that's not the one I was watching I was watching one um, that is like really scary the purge that's it I was watching the purge um, and I thought well if my sims would have been purged or something like that um, they need a panic room so if the purge was a thing in the sims um, they could use their panic room you know to hide out uh, and stay safe with the family on you know that one specific day in the year uh, I just thought, uh, thought that it was a little bit of a fun thing to do adding in a panic room so that's what I did it. Um, anyways, furnishing the um, 
dining room. So this is the only dining room that we have in the house. Uh, it's a very large eight person setting uh, dining room. Uh, again, going with all of the very expensive and old looking furnishing that I could find. Um, and then here I wanted to use those new drapes uh, from, what is it called again? From the Get Famous pack, but I couldn't find the exact matching color combination that I wanted because I was searching for a white and very yellow gold variation of that curtain and I couldn't find it in the game so I think uh I think they didn't make one, <laughs> which is kind of sad because I could have come for like black and the very gold color because that was definitely there, but it just made the, the room a bit too dark. So yeah, that's why we are going with different curtains than the ones we've gotten with the game. Um, so here doing the kitchen, there were no new kitchen counters in the pack, uh, which makes me very sad because I'm actually waiting until they would release a kitchen counter with a marble tiling. I mean, that, have, that would have been perfect for, you know, this pack because there's so many marble things. There's a new marble flooring, um, there's a marble wallpaper. So a marbled looking kitchen counter, you know, the very, um, you know that every beauty blogger has in their house. <laughs> All of the celebrities have like these marble kitchen counters. Um, it would have been perfect for this movie star home because I do imagine that the Sims living in this house would have marble kitchen counters, uh, not fake wood or, you know, whatever it is that I placed in the kitchen. Um, so anyways, what am I doing here? Oh, adding in some awards here and there. I mean, these Sims are incredibly famous they have a, a, a zillion awards so i placed them throughout the entire house here i added one in, in into the hallway you know at uh, it's on the display so that people who come and visit they can you know see the most important award that they have it's right there in the hallway and i hanged up the movie behind it where that award is from i mean that's how it clicked in my mind. Uh, and of course, I added in a red carpet <laughs> because these Sims, you know, they they are a little bit, how do you say, it? They, they love the fame. They love the fame and the attention and they are always used to having, you know, a red carpet rolled out for them uh, wherever they go. So that's why they also have a red carpet in their own house. Um, and then here starting with, you know, the basic layout of the basement uh, that I'm gonna make. So I'm keeping it really simple. I'm not going to uh, overboard in size. I'm, I'm keeping it fairly, you know, normal sized. Um, and then here furnishing uh, the master bedroom. So the master bedroom, I decided to place that downstairs. The reason why I did that is I didn't have enough space upstairs to make a very large master bedroom with a walk-in closet and an ensuite bedroom. I couldn't really find, you know, the space to do that. So that's why we are doing it downstairs. And I, I think it looks really nice. I'm loving the new um, wardrobe pieces that we've gotten. So we've gotten one with shelves where you can place, um, you know, shirts and stuff and towels, but you can also place your awards on those shelves. Um, and then we have a, I think a shoe, a shoe, how do you call it? A shoe cabinet as well, which I will be placing a little bit later because I'm actually gonna make, um, the dressing room or the walk-in wardrobe a tiny bit bigger. So the shoes will come in a little bit later. Um, and then this is the ensuite bathroom that I'm working on. I'm going with um, the counters from Perfect Patio, if I have that correct. And I thought, why not place them in the kitchen? Because those tops, those countertops actually kind of resemble marble although i think it's more of a normal stone it's not really a marble but it did look like it could have been a marble so i decided to place it you know throughout the entire house so we're using this counter in all the bathrooms not all the bathrooms in but in a large piece of the bathrooms and in the kitchen um because i just thought that you know that was more luxurious looking um so what am i doing here i'm just 
going uh, uh, throughout the house, filling in a little knickknacks here and there, here adding in some awards that they've won, um, you know, adding in some clutter and trying to make it look really nice uh, and, you know, decorated. Uh, that's what we are doing right now. Um, so for the color combination, as you guys can see, I'm going with dark colors uh, in the bedroom. I am combining the Get Famous wallpaper with the Vampire wallpaper and also with the Vintage Glamour stuff wallpapers. I think those three wallpapers really combine uh, very nicely together. Um, and I knew I wanted for the master bedroom, again, to go, to go a little bit over the top. I mean, these Sims are so wealthy. <laughs> um, you know, they are so spoiled and they like to really uh, baskant, no, not baskant, how do they, they just really like to have very, uh, you know, expensive and a little bit, you know, weird stuff around them. So that's why they, you know, get the, <laughs> what is it? It's like a tiger bed uh, or am I going to change it? I'm actually not sure. I do know that there is a little bit too much patterns going on right now and a bit too much yellow coloring. So I am changing the, the bedroom a, s a slight bit just to make it look a little bit calming than it looks right now, but it's still going to be very bold. Um, so yeah, just so that you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, adding in, uh, you know, uh, that poster that we've gotten in... Uh, in the hallway. I'm gonna add it in here as well. So what I really like about that large kind, it's not a poster, it's a frame. This large frame is uh, when you go through all the recolors, there's actually a few with, you know, set costumes in there. So there's a Elvis, you know, looking one. I think I placed that in the hallway. There's also one that looks like a cowboy costume, an Indian costume, uh, a boho costume, which I think is really fun. So I imagine that, you know, those are set costumes that uh, the couple took with them from the set. Uh, I don't know if the producer actually knows uh, that they took them with them home, but they did. <laughs> um, and they placed them on display throughout the entire house just so that they could showcase to everyone that would visit which movies they played in. And also in the cinema downstairs, I actually placed it posters throughout the entire cinema. And those are all posters that the movie stars have played in. <laughs> you know, they only watch their own movies. No, maybe movies from their friends as well. But, you know, when they are throwing a party, they like to put on their own movie uh, and then talk about, you know, what they did in the scene and, you know, how they made the scene work as, you know, like it did, uh, you know, and stuff like that. That's what I imagine they would do. Um, anyways, here, working on the teen girl's bedroom, I knew I wanted to use that light pink color somewhere. I think it's gorgeous. This would have been perfect for a Barbie Mansion build. Should probably do one. I have done one before, by the way. I have done a Barbie Mansion, I think a year or two ago, but it was more of a modern Barbie Mansion. Um, I've never done a traditional one, so probably should put that on my to-do list for maybe later. Uh, so this teen girl, uh, she is gonna be a beauty blogger. And at first I added in this... Um, how do you say it? It's like a van the vanity table. I added in the vanity table, put some lights and cameras around it. And, you know, that she could do her beauty blogging um, recording right there. But not really, because that's not functional to record. But then later on, like at the end of the entire build, I went through the house again because I wanted to add in some more clutter items. And then I thought, why not add in the desk for vlogging because I think you can do like beauty uh, beauty vlogs and such as well so I thought let's place that desk here um, instead of the vanity table and then place the vanity table where the desk is so that little setup that I made is gonna change a tiny bit so that uh, the teen girl that lives in the bedroom you know that owns the bedroom actually can 
flog and beauty flog and whatever in her bedroom so it's gonna be functional and that is like the first time ever i have done influencer uh, bedrooms or houses before you know beauty bloggers streamers and such um, streaming we now can do with uh, city living um, there was like a youtuber or streamer kind of influencer uh, career that you could have done um, but now the flogging is also gonna be um, playable which is gonna be very nice and then I also added in a teen boys bedroom but this boy um, he's a little bit how do you say it not really weird but you know he has a very artistic mind and he sometimes can be a little bit quirky he also doesn't want to sleep in a normal bed he only wants you know this pot <laughs> um and he sleeps in that um so you know all it, it's a very expensive bed by the way um and he, he yeah his parents of course are of course very rich so for them there it wasn't really a problem but i think they did have some questions on why he wanted that bed but yeah Anyways, um, I also added in a recording studio in the teen boy's bedroom because he wants to be a DJ. Um, I did place the flogging table in the recording studio. I am going to change that out for like the music mixing kind of table. Uh, also a little bit later on because... Well, I just mixed them up. So I thought that that was the music mixing table. It wasn't. So that table is going to change. Um, you know, the, the L-shaped table right here is going to disappear. And we're going to add in the mixing table. And this room is going to be functional as well. So you can actually record some music in, in the boot, which I think is lovely. Um... So yeah, adding in a little chair, um, that really nice looking contemporary chair. I love that chair so much uh, and in my upcoming build I use it everywhere. <laughs> um, that's how much I really liked it. Um, so here adding in some drones. I do imagine, uh, you know, them having drones following them around every day. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, Oh my god, there's so much more to furnish. Uh, this is only the third bedroom. So we still need to furnish the kids' bedroom. Um, the toddler and the kid, they are sharing a bedroom. So this is the kids' bedroom with a toddler bed and a normal kids' bed. We're going with uh, some fun colors, you know, purples, pinks, <laughs> you know, a little bit bright, but then, you know, toning it down with some grays and whites. And then this bedroom right here, that is going to be the butler's bedroom. So for the butler, I went with very neutral colors, keeping it all in the whites, grays, and a little bit of black, uh, you know, not to personalize it because it's just a butler's bedroom um, he doesn't live there I think I mean no I think he does live there but you know he also has his own place it's, it's so weird I don't understand the concept of a butler do they actually live there and do they own a house as well or is this their house I'm, I'm not sure how it works but anyways that's the butler's bedroom um, that I'm building right now um, and then after that I think we're doing uh, the bathroom. So for the bathroom, I'm keeping it simple and the same as the first bathroom that I made downstairs. Um, so marble flooring, you know, all the gold fixtures and such, trying to make it look really, you know, luxurious. And then here making a little seating area. So the seating area that I'm making here, I am, you know, placing this in like this really vibrant, is it purple? Purpley pink color I am gonna change that out to a more softer kind of royal what is it a royal purple color because or ice purple I think it's called like an ice purple color this is just a bit too much <laughs> it screamed way too much so I am gonna tone down that little seating area right on top uh, there and then here I'm trying to decide on you know where I wanted the bar to come because of course we needed a bar and there wasn't a bar downstairs so I decided to place the bar up there on the patio area and then here I'm trying to decide do I want you know illuminating stairs or not but 
I think the non-illuminating ones looked better. Um, and then here adding in a little seating area, which I'm going to change out again later to a hot tub. Because I also didn't place a hot tub anywhere. <laughs> um, so yeah, this house is going to be very uh, multifunctional. You can do everything there. You can swim, you can go into the hot tub, you can go to the spa downstairs. There's an indoor cinema, there's a gym, um, you know, there is a safe so you never have to go to the bank. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can do everything, only not fishing. Um, there's no fishing pond. So if you want to go fishing, you do need to do that, you know, off of the lot. Um, and maybe if you want to go clubbing and such, I don't have a, a little clubhouse or anything like that uh, inside of uh, this, this mansion. Um, so yeah, where are we now? Oh, we're in the basement. So I'm finally shaping the... Uh, indoor movie theater i went with uh you know black grays white um and then a red carpet <laughs> just so that you know th that red carpet that we had upstairs that it leaded to somewhere um and yeah that's what I'm doing right now. I think the uh, movie theater looks really nice. Uh, it's definitely a setup that I've done before. So if you have seen me build uh, a few movie theaters, I mean, this one isn't any different um, than, you know, the other ones. I did use uh, the new chairs from the uh, Get Famous pack. And I think they look really nice. Uh, they definitely fit it in with the cinema style that I was going for. And then here adding in some wall lights and all of the posters, of course, that uh, the couple has played in <laughs> all on display on the wall. Um, and then here I started with the fitness area. So for the fitness area, I I went for a fitness and spa in one. So there is a sauna, there are treadmills, or are, there tre are those called treadmills? Yeah, I think they are called treadmills. Um, and there's like this machine for, you know, for your muscles. <laughs> they can also use that. And then here I'm trying to decide where I wanted the yoga mat. Um, and I placed it here on the balcony. It just made more sense to have it outdoors than indoors. Um, yeah, and there's also a large vanity area in uh, in the uh, in the gym as well. I just thought that you know probably. Um the the wife you know she likes to work out a lot because she needs to take uh, stay fit and she needs to look good for the roles that she's gonna play um so she works out a lot but usually when she's done working out uh she wants to immediately have her face on so all of her makeup <laughs> and that's why i added in a vanity table in the gym so that she could, you know, fix her makeup before going upstairs to her husband. She's like really vain. <laughs> uh, I don't think she ever shows her face without makeup. Uh, not even to her husband or her children. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, that was the uh, idea behind the vanity table. And then here, starting with the two rooms I had the most fun <laughs> making. Just the idea. It was hilarious that they would own, you know, an entire vault with all of these uh you know items that they uh accumulated throughout the years so that is like the um the steering wheel of the Black Pearl, you know, from Pirates of the Caribbean. They took them uh, from the set and now they have it display uh, in their fault because it's actually worth a lot of simoleons at this point. And then they also stacked up all their gold bars. I mean... I don't know how they get these gold bars, but they have a lot of gold bars, you know, so they stacked them up there in the corner. And these are all of the, you know, very expensive artifacts that they in uh, uh, maybe, uh, how do you say it? Collect, yeah, they are collectors of very old and rare items. So they placed it there in the cabinet. Um, and then here going through, you know, the entire room, trying to find, uh, you know, other pieces to place. Um, and yeah, and then also trying to decide what wallpaper to use. So I went with a dine out wallpaper in the end that looked really nice i am gonna go back in that room by the way because now i am using wall items from the jungle adventure pack but there's actually a wall item from get famous that has like jewelry and collectibles and such 
on display in that little frame. So I am gonna change the Jungle Adventures ones out for the Get Famous ones a bit later on. Um, so here's starting with the Panic Room. So this Panic Room, of course, isn't a normal Panic Room. <laughs> I mean, they these people are wealthy, just too rich to imagine. So they didn't have built a normal pa uh, Panic Room. They built a Panic Apartment. So we have our, you know, our station there across the wall so all of the monitors there is a radio for maybe you know calling in some help um i'm adding in some medicine that is a stack of uh bio warfare medicine or something that it was uh, that that said it's uh, in the description so i thought well that is something that we need um there's also a tiny kitchenette and a bathroom as well. And instead of the normal beds to use, I used these uh, sleeping pots because the sleeping pots actually take care of a few of the needs. Uh, definitely, I think maybe hunger, but I'm not sure. But I know it takes care of your bladder and other needs, uh, but not all of them. But I thought, well, that is really handy if you have uh, a panic room and you need to stay there for a long time, then uh, the bed will help you a lot uh, and then also making a tiny little seating area you know where they can sit and relax and wait until the purge is done and a suitcase case full of money because yeah you never know if you need some cash <laughs> for i don't know bribing <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. So I added in a suitcase with money, uh, some um, electrical boxes, a ventilator, um, you know, all that jazz. Also a bookcase for some fun and entertainment. They can read a book there while they're waiting it out. Um, and then here uh, also a wardrobe because they don't want to, you know, have the same clothes on when they are there maybe they need to stay there a few days i don't know um so yeah there is a change of clothes in, in the wardrobe as well um so yeah and that's like uh the panic room that i created so i did furnish at this point almost the entire yeah almost the entire house i still need to furnish the laundry room which we're starting out right now uh, we also need to furnish uh, a few of the hallways add in some clutter throughout the entire house so and also do all of the outdoor lighting so usually i cut out these pieces of the video uh, with my other speed builds but because this is a new expansion pack that is coming up we're using you know new items and such i thought let's just you know keep that part in the video so that's also the reason why this video is like 35 or 36 minutes long uh, um, i kept almost everything in except for the kitchen and a few of the bathrooms because that was not really that important to watch um so yeah and you're adding in some laundry of course because the butler has to do something <laughs> um and then here saving very important saving and then um I actually don't know why we are paused right there. Oh yeah, and now we are going back in in all of the rooms and you know adding in the correct objects to use so you're trying to decide where I wanted the vanity to go. And then this little uh, computer setup. Uh, so this computer table. I actually add this in into the hallway. Um, I know for like a large mansion as this one. It's probably not that common to have a computer in a hallway. Um, they would have probably have like a room for their computers. Maybe an office or such. But I just didn't have enough room. I just didn't have it, so that's why the computer is in the hallway. Um, yeah, and then here, you know, tweaking the lighting a little bit, making sure that your sims can route around the table, very important. Um, and then here going uh, back outside, adding in some more detailing, um, you know, a bit more, uh, just some items here and there to make it uh, look more fabulous and lived in um, and then here changing out the rug and then changing the color to that you know that icy purple color and i think that looks really nice adding in another frame with a cowboy outfit um yeah and i think i think that's all we do in that little hallway 
and then here pimping this little section as well so yeah I'm, I'm really going through the entire house right now and adding in clutter uh everywhere not clutter but just decorational pieces so that this looks actually like a celebrity home <laughs> um, and I also tweaked the kitchen a little bit because it was very bare and empty there was almost no clutter in the kitchen I mean a kitchen without clutter that, that that never happens so you know that is what I am doing right now um, anyways I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed this voiceover we're not done <laughs> by the way but I'm, I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed it uh, and if you did of course leave your likes down below that's very important um, so so what I'm doing right now is I added in some liquor. <laughs> so I don't know. I just thought, well, this is a celebrity home. Um, celebrities like to have parties. I mean, not all of them. Some of them are really like health freaks and such. Um, but at one point, they would have probably liked to party. So that's why we have liquor in the kitchen <laughs> for when they feel like partying. They can just walk, you know, walk to the kitchen, grab a, a bottle of whiskey. And have fun so yeah and also um, decorating the uh, dining area just a little bit um, so yeah oh and of course I forgot to furnish the the garage I added in a garage as you guys saw when I was building the house uh, but I didn't furnish it so that's what I'm doing right now so I'm adding in a tiny tiny little bathroom here in the garage and the idea behind this bathroom is um, that is for you know the gardener and uh, maybe the cleaning lady and the nanny to use so you know personnel or staff aren't allowed to use the indoor bathrooms only the butler only the butler is allowed and everyone else that you know works in and around the house um, that doesn't sleep in the house they need to use the bathroom in the garage <laughs> so that's why there's a tiny dingy bathroom right there uh, and then here adding in that buffet table you know that we've gotten from the luxury party pack I think that was like the first stuff pack ever I just thought that it's you know but would have been really functional for a party or something like that um, and then a woodworking table that of course no one ever uses in the family like who does wood, wood, woodworking especially when you're like a movie star you have so much money you can just buy whatever um i don't think you know they would enjoy woodworking but they do have a woodworking table for maybe when they have a carpenter come over to fix something you know then they can say well just use the woodworking table in the garage you know we have our own one uh, a very expensive one or something like that um so yeah, there's a woodworking table um, and then also adding in those boxes from Seasons so that you can decorate your entire house in one go. Uh, also added in a bubble blower and then here this rug. This rug is so much fun. It's a llama man rug so i thought that was hilarious and i did imagine that probably dad you know played llama man at one point uh, in his career so that's why we have the llama man logo in the uh in the home home cinema <laughs> uh, it's just so much fun um so yeah i think i think we're at the end of the videos you guys yeah i'm just here looking uh if i missed anything you know tweaking the lighting and then here starting with the exterior lighting and i do find that you know all these little lights that i'm placing on the ground it makes the house look even more luxurious i don't know why <laughs> but it does it, it really feels like it does uh sadly what I did see is I wanted to place some lights, you know, up the hill, but the sorcerers were floating. So these little lights were actually floating on the hill. So I couldn't place them there, which made me, you know, kind of sad because it would have looked really epic if I had like a little trail go up the driveway, you know, with all these little lights. I think that would have looked really nice. Um, but instead, I decided to illuminate all of the plants and bushes and such surrounding the house. And then also illuminating the uh, swimming pool as well. So that it really stands out, uh, especially at nighttime. 
you know, um, just the idea of the view that you would have uh, on this house looking at it, you know, from below at night. That would be amazing. Um, so yeah, that is basically it. I think we are at the end of the video. Yes, we are. So I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed uh, this little video of mine um, and then this, uh, you know, movie star mansion that I created as my first ever build of the Get Famous expansion pack. Um, again, thank you um, EA Game Changers for providing me with a code so that I can play the game early. <laughs> um, it means a lot and I'm very, very grateful. So yeah, if you guys liked the video, don't forget to leave your likes, of course, down below, like I said previously. And if this is the first video that you are seeing from me, of course, check out part one. Part one is where I build the entire structure. Um, and if you are liking what you're seeing, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you would never ever miss a video of mine. So that's it, you guys. Uh, we are at the end of the video. I'm hoping that you all are having a awesome awesome day wherever you are and hopefully I will see you all in the next one bye bye <laughs>